Hello, I'm Andrewism and welcome back to Gratuitous Space Battles 2 Campaign! So, I think we're about halfway through the campaign and we've taken like, two frigates last. We're doing pretty well. Uh, that said, if you look at our gunships up here, they've taken a fair few losses. We're down to, I'd say, just over two-thirds strength, which isn't terrible. Fighters, on the other hand, severely depleted. Like, I did say in the last battle that we were taking a real pounding from the enemy fighters and stuff, and I was predicting we'd probably be down. Yeah, like, there's only two that are actually intact. The other ones are quarter strength. It means that we won't be able to cover as many ships. I've had to double up the number of, like, fighter wings because the wings are so damaged. And even those that are being defended are being defended by almost, you know, sometimes half what they would usually be defended by. So... In theory, we should be kind of at a loss against fighters from now on. And they do have gunships, so I'm hoping that the gunships are not going to do too much damage. We do have some craft who can shoot at uh, enemy fighters and stuff. Some of our, you know, frigates, etc. are outfitted to do that. But it's not ideal. They aren't, like, specialized to do that. Anyway, uh, I think we're ready to go. And nothing special about this other than the fact that I've put one uh, uh, really heavy dreadnought here. And then our uh, faster dreadnought here. The reason is that normally if I put the dreadnoughts like next to each other, this one speeds away, attacks the enemy. This one's like, I'm trying to catch up. Hopefully this one will like engage the enemy and this one will engage the enemy roughly the same time because it's got a short distance to travel in theory. I mean, there's not like two blocks of enemies, so they're all going to roughly hit us at the same time. So deploying on one side isn't as important in this battle. So let's go and fight the battle. I think we're ready. Do, 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 do. Let's Enemy go. Fleet detected ahead. Well, that's a picture. All right, can I, like, get rid of the overlay? Is it like a get rid of overlay button? No. That's a shame. I really wish there was a get rid of overlay button. I'd like to, I'd like to, you know... Like, oh, this is one of my complaints about G uh, G G Space Battles 2, is that like, there's so much crap on the screen. Like, this giant circle? Unnecessary, it doesn't do anything. This circle here does. Okay, the gunships are getting... Oh my god, we're hitting them with sometimes capital ship weaponry. Those ones have been tractor beamed. Not that the missiles are going to do much. Yeah, these craft back here, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the, the, the frigates here, like, not the Jazz, this is the other one. These actually have, like, some anti-fighter stuff. I can't remember what it is, like, flak and maybe fighter missiles or something. I can't remember what I uploaded them with. Um, I explained it in the first episode, but it's been a while since then. They can actually kill fighters, so I'm hoping that they'll do a good job. Enemy missiles have mostly been deflected. Enemy system scrambled. Scrambled. This one is getting a pounding on the shields. Good. Our other Dreadnought is coming in. Excellent. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Yep, that's gone. Right, and this guy... Yep. Hail of missiles. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right. Let's look at what they've got over here. So a lot slower. They do have, you know, a cruiser, a Dreadnought. Frigate cruiser. And they are unleashing their missile, like, volleys towards us. But I think we're okay. Most of them are getting deflected by our uh, ECM fuels and stuff. And, you know, there's also point defense which is doing some work. You see the missiles over here just uh, veering off course at the last minute, which is helpful. Occasionally, like, one will get through, but... Over ooh, ooh, ooh! They've, like, scrambled my dreadnought? That's not good. Stop doing that, please. The shields are actually going down. Scrambled. Oh, we scrambled that guy at least. Oh, my dreadnought's actually taking a little bit of armor damage there. That's not allowed. That's better. Come on, get through the shields. Get through the shields. How are we doing? Enemy system scrambled. Oh, whoa, whoa, there go our shields. We're like down to half armor. No! This is many class. I think this is many class. So I'm terrible with names. They don't show up anymore after the design phase, so... It's basically my memory. My memory is awful. Oh my god, they're down to hull?! 5% armor is not going to last very long. It's basically, yeah, there we go, hull. Oh, That's nasty. 
I'm still trying to get through this guy because they're like buffing it. And oh, that's a dead frigate. Bye bye. You tried. You weren't meant to get that close. ECM's help. Ooh, wow, your armor went down very quickly. That was not expected. Oh, you need to start pulling back in about 10% time. Good. Keep up the missile barrage. Your arm is nearly down. Your arm is down. Excellent. Absolutely beautiful. The missile barrage is really good. I've got to say. Missile Barrage is very much helping there. Boom, there goes their Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. Right, now you. Oh, that was quick. Now you. Oh, yeah, that's few statistics. Again, Steam Class. Owning everything. We should just have, like, an army in Steam Classes. Like, they'd do a good job. Pulse, followed by ECM Missile Rack for least damage, because it's an ECM missile, like, duh. Uh, least damage done was by the gunships, because, of course, they don't do any damage. Best of the shields, Harry Plasma, Best of armor was the beam, beam laser, and Best versus holes, the plasma cannon, uh, the pulse cannon, sorry, which is what they're intended to do. Like, that's what they specialize in, that's why I put them on for, they did the job. Cool, I'm happy with that. 32 with the beam laser percent hit, what? That is a bit low. Like, these are less accurate than the beam lasers, and these got like a 57... Eh, you know, whatever. Okay, can I like load a... a layout? Is there a deployment available? No. It's a different deployment for each battle, I guess. Uh, well, so anyway, I'm going to do the deployment now. Uh, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so you can see that for some reason all of our stuff is red. And I was trying to work out, why are these guys red? What's what's with the redness? Can I not deploy them? And then I realized that if you click on them, you can see that some things are marked in red here. And they happen to all be shield generators. I think we're taking this battle in a nebula, and shields will not work. I'm worried. So, this has led me to several conclusions. Firstly, we are going to get absolutely pounded. Like, we'll, we'll win. But, you know, the important thing with a campaign like this is how much damage do you take? Can you do the next battle? Um, that's going to be a problem. Secondly, I was like, well, do I deploy the gunships? Because they have anti-shield missiles, useless without shields, and ECM missiles. Okay, made with ECM missiles. But then I was a bit like... But will they take unnecessary losses for the amount of damage they're going to do? And with half their weapons down, I feel that it's not really worth deploying them. And the fighters. They don't have any fighters, so why should I deploy my anti-fighter fighters? I'm not. It's just another risk, so I'm not going to deploy them. All my fighters and gunships are not going to be deployed for this battle. It's the first time I haven't deployed anything, and I think this is probably the right move. They're just a liability. They won't be able to do really that much. Um, as for the ships... I'm just going to hope, but I'm a bit worried. Like, I've actually made the Steam classes follow this Dreadnought rather than going off alone because I'm afraid that without shields they might take a bit too much damage. And they're great damage dealers, so I don't want them dying. Overall, a bit worried. I am deploying the carrier even though we've got no fighters because the carrier has a lot of sniper beams and I'm hoping that the sniper beams can still do something. Uh, one thing I would say as a criticism of the game is it didn't tell me about this nebula thing, or at least anywhere that I could see when I went to the next mission. Like, it would be nice to have a thing saying, you are in a nebula. Shields will not work. I cannot see it here. Like, I, not unless I'm blind. Um, so it's a case of can I mouse over? No? No tooltip saying what it's red? That's a bit of a mistake. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a case of we have no shields, I think. We're gonna have ooh, it's gonna be a difficult battle. This is probably where it starts to ramp up. And I was thinking until this point, we've done very well. This is where we're gonna have some issues. So let's fight it and oh my god, I hope it goes okay. Now, of course, they won't have shields either, but they're probably specialized for that. Enemy fleet detected ahead. Whereas we've actually gone, you know, pretty heavy on the shield front. Like, I prefer shields over armor. But when you get a nebula like this, shields don't work? Uh-oh. Yep, shields on zero. 
Go away. I, like, I should be able to right click or left click off of this to get it to disappear. I shouldn't have to click that. Targeting support teams oh, we're at close range. Wish I could know about you. Like, do you actually have shield generators that just aren't working? We're probably going to lose a lot of frigates. Do my frigates actually have armor? N yes, they have one armor. And that's their first hit. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Is that me shooting or them? Six yeah, it's me there, down to half armor. Okay, here we go. Yes. Ooh, they've got repair systems. Look, their armor's actually increasing. Oh, it's stopped now. But yeah, they've got repair systems, so... Uh, it looks like they've maybe not got shields and got repair systems instead, which is, of course, a very clever plan if you know that you're not going to need shields. Enemy system scrambled. We are doing damage. I'm just hoping that we don't take too much. Like, our frigates are... We're probably going to lose a lot of frigates here. I mean, frankly, the frigates never did a lot. But we're probably going to lose a lot of frigates. Like, looking at them right now... Enemy system scrambled. Yeah. They're not in the best position. How's that dreadnought doing? Behold my tentacles! No armor left. Hull's going down. We've got a kill there. I think that's the first kill. No, there's a kill over here that I didn't see. They have ECM there. That's yeah, fine. Kill secured. Come on. Blow him up. 8%. There we go. Right, we've got a few frigates who managed to escape from the front lines and retreat because they took too much damage. It looks like I didn't need to stare too much. Like, we are doing pretty well. I don't even know if we took a single loss. I can't see anyone on our side who has died. Yeah, I think we're good. Boom. You're going to go boom soon, and you're going to go boom soon. Like, I'm happy with the outcome. I thought we were going to be in some trouble. Targeting support beams activated. Come on, kill, 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 kill. Yeah, nice. Okay, gotta say, was expecting it to be much harder. What's indestructible? I just got a medal for that. Indestructible. Win a campaign battle without losing a single ship. Oh yeah. Ah, we did get in there with the others because we had fighters we lost. In this one, we didn't know we fight, so we lost no ships. Oh yeah, few statistics. Best of this is shields, sniper beam. There were no shields, so how could there be a best versus shields? Like damage versus shields, zero. Party accelerator and pulse cannon. Yeah, sure. Steam class still. Wow. Uh, Isaac class support ship did the least damage because there's no fighters, and the only thing it has is like a flat cannon. Most damage done, steam class. Yep, I'm cool with that. Okay, so we're looking at fighters, gunboats, two dreadnoughts, and two little ships. Okay, they've got a lot of fighters. That This is what worries me now, is that they have a lot of fighters here, and we don't have many. I'm going to deploy, and hopefully we'll be able to hold them off. Okay, so with the enemy's high reliance on gunships and fighters, I'm... I'm a little bit concerned that if we put our gunships out, our gunships will get murdered. And frankly, they've only got, you know, two destroyers, two, I don't know what they are, frigates, maybe cruisers. Um, but I don't think we need to take the gunships out. I think this is a battle where the gunships are probably best kept in reserve and not used. Well, they're not even in reserve, because in reserve means that you can deploy them to deal with, you know, threats that might come along. We're not doing that. So I'm not going to deploy them. I will, however, deploy everyone else. And the idea here is I've got this Dreadnought first, and I'm hoping that they will go, Oh, we're close to this Dreadnought. Let's attack it. They'll fly towards Dreadnought, and then our two full fighter squadrons will be able to intercept. Everyone else who's really damaged, I've kind of split up, but I'm really hoping that uh, this, this you know, two fighter squadrons can hold them off. It's going to be tough, though. Let's go. And you know what I might do? I might change their priority to gunships 100% so that they're targeting gunships. Fight! Don't die! 
Enemy fleet detected ahead. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the both of them are carriers. You can see they've deployed both a lot. Both of these are support ships, as we were expecting. It looks like there's a targeting beam and a shield beam. Oh, these are cruisers. They aren't even dreadnoughts. Okay. Hmm. Their fighters are coming in pretty thick and fast. And we're, like, spamming them with, like, capital ship class weaponry. It's a little bit overkill, but I think we're going to take some severe losses here. At least, you know, I've got tractor beams on most of our dreadnoughts, so the tractor beams can still kill fighters. It's the only thing you can get for a dreadnought that can really, like, hit a fighter is the tractor beams. Which is why I have combat class tractor beams on things. Seriously, I cannot love the combat tra class tractor beam too much. Ooh! Yes, that cruise is, like, already getting pummeled. It's these, uh, like, a lot of sniper beams I'm seeing already off our cruiser. Not our cruiser, our capital. Not our capital, what's it called? Carrier. Carrier class dreadnought is already sniping with the uh, sniper beams. Nicely taking the hull down there. What about you? Yeah. Is this another battle where shields don't work? No. Shields do work. Oh, it's just their gunships must have anti shield weapons because I'm seeing a lot of shields down. Enemy system scrambled. Come on. Dead cruiser? Yeah, okay, next cruiser. They've got red beams as well? What do red beams do? Propulsion beam, I think. Wow, your shield resistance is really high. And it's gone. Enemy system scrambled. Come on. Missiles are being deflected again. A support ship must be able to deflect those. However, the hull is going down. Their fighters are going to outlast them. Oh. I wonder how much losses we took there. Probably too many. Yeah, I'm expecting all these. These stats are, like, pretty similar. And now it's like, oh, you're surrounded. Oh, my God. That's a dreadnought and a half. Um, I feel this is probably quite easy to get out of, though. Uh, but what do we lose? <sighs> Let's let's just deploy the fighters, right, before we actually do anything else. I just want to see what we've got in the way of losses. I mean, that fighter squadron looks pretty fat. I don't see a problem here. That's a, that's a gunship, actually. But, you know, it looks like the fighters didn't take as much uh, of a pounding as I expected. I think sticking next to some of our, uh, you know, capital ships, etc., and capital ships having, you know, big-ass cruiser... Like, not cruiser, capital class uh, tractor beams, like, really worked kind of well for us. Um, I don't know how many there are to go. How many more missions do we have? Save. I don't need to save, but anyway. How many have we got? Is this the last one? Okay, this is the last mission. I guess I was going to do another episode, but, you know, this is the last mission. We'll power through. Uh, I'll do the deployment, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Right, oh, so, um, one weird thing about this deployment. You can see our fighters here. Why are there only six squadrons? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Where did the other two go? Like, I swear I had two more that were full strength, and they've just disappeared. I also can't find my gunships. They don't... Like, this list doesn't scroll? What's going on? Can I... Gunships? It's... It's showing me I've got, you know, these guys. Six of them. Deployed. Where are my two full squadrons? Where are my gunships? I'm... Unless I'm going crazy, I had them, and this is a bug, and it's deleted some of my craft, which is annoying. And this is about available pilots. I don't know what this is. I don't. I don't know why this is. So obviously, like, there's either a bug or there's some like weird feedback that I'm just not getting from the game. But for some reason. We don't have our gunships. For some reason, we don't have our two best fighter squadrons. So, we're going to make do. Um, they've only got, you know, two sets of fighters over here. So, I've got a fighter deploying with this guy. And they should be able to defeat them. And we should be able to own pretty hard. Let's go straight in. We've got plenty of Enemy firepower. Detected ahead. Whee! Oh, my God. Point blank. Come on. Yep, that's good. Oh, that's one guy dead. First blood for us. There they go, the fighters. 
Here come our fighters. Got this guy down here. I can't see him because he's under the map. This was a very good design. Why can't I get rid of the map? Oh yeah, all the sniper beams from the carrier. Lovely. Um, over here, this guy's already dead. Oh. Awesome. That was it. Cool. Least damage is done by the fighters this time. Yeah, interesting. And that's it. We've completed the campaign. Uh, that was a lot easier and quicker than I expected. And there was some weird bugs in there. One crash and for some reason gunships and fighters missing that I just don't understand. Like maybe there is a reason for it that I'm just not getting. But, I uh. But yeah, I... That's that's the campaign mode. It's a good idea. I do think it could be possibly like, you know, a little bit longer, maybe sort of endless in effect or procedurally generated. And, you know, maybe the deployment could be made easier. But I, I really like the idea that you don't have to have a specialized fleet and you can just take a fleet out. Um, but it'd be nice to, you know, be able to take the fleet out right up until its death. Right, right now it's a case of, well, you can just do it again, but take less ships with you. I don't know, like, that's one way of doing it, where you basically, you set the difficulty by taking their ships, but I'd also like it one where the difficulty is how long can you go. Um, that'd be kind of cool. But, yeah, that's the campaign mode. I think the campaign mode is a great addition, at least. Yeah, it uh, stops having to rebuild and specialise your ships for each battle, which I kind of like the idea of. I don't like having to build specialised ships. It just seems a little bit gimmicky to me. And having to make a, a fleet that can do kind of all roles is really kind of cool, in my opinion. But anyway, I've been Aerolysium, really this has been Gratuitous Space Battles 2. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, you know, like. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know how much you liked it. I'm kind of pleased we came through with basically almost the entire fleet intact. So, woo for me. I don't have to write that many letters to people going, Sorry, we got your pilot killed because we were silly. Which is cool. Anyway, uh, I love you awesome nerds. And stay shiny.